Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. This door leads to the back alley. My parents came in here hoping to survive. Looks like one of them was her. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Hmm. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. C can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Let me know when you hear from Glenn. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Aww. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Alright, Clem, come on. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. She's optimistic. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? Come on, Clem. It just is. Clem, please stop. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Okay. Hey, look. The remote to my dad's TV. TV. That's what I figured. Okay, it doesn't work. I'll keep it though. Lee. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. I don't want to tell her the truth. Yeah. Okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? 
Let's get you wrapped up. That finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There you go. Let's see what we can do about this door. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Okay. So we can't do anything here. We've got his family picture. Find anything? You know, I was about to bring you some batteries. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I'm on name Clem. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. <sighs> oh. Was I don't he to bad? He was. I'm not a bad guy, Clem. No, I have a chocolate bar. Here you go. Thank you. Of course. Where's Doug? I have a second one. Central High Take State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Yeah, well, I need to look for some batteries before we do that. We'll head around here. Here's some more of our family photos. You'd think that they'd realize that that's me. 
There's a battery. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know. I don't remember them very well. It dog. It's not Duck. much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. We There's just another need one. to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Where's the last battery? Um. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Okay, we'll give you one. Should fit the radio. Great. Or Thanks. is there any one? I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. Okay, I do I need. I need. I, I need one more. Um. Oh, is that one? Yeah, it is. Perfect. Uh, and here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Let's go give Lily a chocolate bar. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Alright. Let's grab Doug. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. I can tell that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about All going right. out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Doug, you're the one that's shouting. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? It's my brother. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doug. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has Let's do keys. it. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I've got I'll proof right here. Find. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, That's not I proof. I used to around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? A 
found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? The thing is, we can't actually get out there. That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. I can't reach that so we have this brick, but we can't get to it because of this. You want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man. There were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Alright. We should head back in. Let's head back inside. Okay. Hey, Connie. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Okay, so you clearly just haven't pressed the power. Really? Oh, how dumb can you get? Not what I wanted to press. As the unknown you fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air now. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... Oh no. God bless you all. I want to call you. Let's hey, head hey. out. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. It was kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not oh, fucking God. fine. God, Lee, just leave me alone. 
Oh, I really didn't mean... Oh, oh god. You know what? We need to just head out. I'm so sorry. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Maybe I should have spoke to Clementine first. Shit. Get down! Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room... I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me a and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Let's grab a pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Oh man. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Oh, there's one here. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Let's have a look. Okay. I know what we can do. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Get out your car. Oh, he's got a gun. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was suppressor. Sick. Okay. Now let's check what's inside the car. Plug. Perfect. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Let's move this to that thing and let's grab that axe. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Which I don't know how that works. Let's 
grab that shit. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. The thing is now we don't have any, any cover on that zombie. Go, 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 go. Why the the head? There you go. We get him. It's a she. No, it's nice. not. It's a he. No, it's a she. For sure. Good job. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. We've got our trustworthy X. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Why are you moving like that? Hello. Greetings. Rad. Rad. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. I'm gonna smack that thing. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Whoa. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss. Don't just do it. Relax now. You need to think this through. 
We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... Oh, no, no, no! You... Holy shit. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. 